South Africa is one step closer to getting more nuclear energy. A national energy regulator of South Africa committee has recommended that the regulator approve a plan to procure 2,500 megawatt of new nuclear power. It will now be up to NASA's full board to decide if it agrees with the plan. Let's get some uh, reaction to this uh, and speak to Liz McDade, who is a parliamentary and energy advisor uh, to the organization Undoing Tax Abuse. Liz, always a pleasure talking to you. It's now up to NASA's full board to make the final decision. Do we know what this plan entails? Well, according to the meeting they held this morning, they are uh, concurring with the minister's idea to put 2,500 megawatts of nuclear on the grid. Obviously, Alta has a, a large concern about this, the direction that we are going. And, um, but it looks like NERSA is also not completely happy it, uh, it's proposing some kind of suspensive conditions. We're not sure of the exact details yet, so we're waiting for the full board approval and then the release of the actual decision. But it seems they were raising the issue of affordability and pace and scale that the country uh, can afford. Yeah. Do you get a sense that the, the energy department sufficiently dealt with that issue of affordability because part of the reason that is out you've been against this is that very same issue of affordability well we we don't think so because the irp 2019 actually stated well it it found that there was a no need for new nuclear in uh, up to 2030 and if you remember it's 10, 11 years ago, the IRP 2010 suddenly said there was a need for 9,600 megawatts. So we went from a large amount 10 years ago to nothing before 2030. Um, and so obviously what's happening is as other technologies become cheaper and there's storage options and new technologies coming online like hydrogen, there is really no need for more nuclear power. And so we are very concerned at this determined push to include expensive nuclear power in the mix. And the public have not been given any documents to show that it's affordable in, in any way. And I think we need to also remember that evidence from the Zondo Commission showed that the uh, for the large nuclear deal under ex-president Zuma's reign that cabinet was given incorrect estimations for or underestimations for the cost of nuclear power and yeah. uh, so we're concerned as what numbers are being thrown around here. Yeah I mean Gwede Mantashe has been insisting that nuclear power will play a vital role in our country's mix energy so he's been consistently saying we need an energy mix and not just rely on this and that, but let's have a broad um, options. Well, it's, it's like, sure, you know, so we want the most expensive cars, but let's have a variety. Let's, let's, let's go and bankrupt ourselves so that we can have this really fancy sports car and let's have the one that's really uh, affordable and does the same job. But yeah, we're going to have diversity, so we're going to go for the really expensive ones that also have a high risk. So why do we do that? Why are we not saying, um, let's have a diversity? We've got wind, we've got solar, we've got pump storage, we've got hydro, we've got remaining coal, we've got our existing nuclear, we've got um, gas turbines at the moment, you know, we've got enough variety. We need to start thinking which are the ones for the future to promote and which are the ones that we're going to phase out because they've become too expensive or just obsolete technology. The thing to remember, I guess, is that Minister Gwedi Mantashe has this nuclear build in his performance agreement with the president. Um, and uh, so Arthur would, would question that and say maybe it's time to review the performance agreement. Okay, Liz, thank you for making time.
And giving us your reaction, uh, Liz McDade is a parliamentary and energy advisor to the organization Undoing Tax Abuse. More news when we return from the break. Stay with us here on The Lead.